Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome you on our lesson. Today, we choose to speak about, of course, about the job. But, as we always, um, in, the, in the past, let's say, we was more talking about the jumping jive. Today, we want to talk about the swing jive. And the reason why it's very simple is that uh, we choose to help you uh, to develop very much the body action. And let's say that in the swing jive, this it makes really uh, a huge difference. Anyway, I want to add one thing, very important. In all these five lessons that we, uh, we were with you, uh, Gabriele Gufred is talking a lot, actually. <laughs> actually, this was a compliment. Thank you very much. <laughs> but to continue, as Gabri uh, said, we'd like to you know that we have two types of jive. Uh, this is written also in the book, and I think that the jumping jive is much more, let's say, um, we uh, touch this, mm, let's say, more often than the and swing jive. I can also say that uh, now we can say that this uh, couple use a lot, the jumping jive, of course, some couple using less jumping, some couple using uh, more jumping, but it's more uh, often, you can, often see. you can see, but the swing jive, we can say, that many couples using the swing jive, which let's we call it like some teacher call it like the real jive, but we cannot really see um, deeper the body movement. So it look like swing jive, but look a little bit stiff. In other part of the body, yes. yes. So this we think that is a huge deve development in the swing because normally when we speak about this uh, the swing jive. So we know that the, from the past that the pendulum action that we have, this free movement in, um, uh, let's say, in the hips, yes? And uh, this we, we learned through the years, and I think that it's very familiar, that when we speak about the swing, we speak about the, the swing action, the free move, movement. Um, but we um, would like to add one more thing. As we speak in all, um, let's say, in all the lessons, we speak about the coordination between the body, hip, knee, and foot. So we decide to do the same thing in the jump. Of course, there is a usage of, of the body. We have actions in, of the body in the swing. So let's see how it will look and what does mean this. We'll, we'll do the same thing. We'll go to transfer the weight from one leg to another. But in this case, we'll try to use our body action. So what does it mean? What, when I will place the foot, I'll have a part weight of the foot. You see, I have a translation. So in this case, what I'll, I will try to do? When I will change the weight, I will go with my rib cage really in. So when I will put the heel down, I will go with the rib cage in. So what does it mean? When I go with the rib cage in, you know that already we have a reaction into our hip. So we'll do body hip. Now, when we need to transfer the weight, I'll, before we'll transfer the weight, we'll have to activate our knee, and then we'll use our feet, and again, we'll have, let's say, a translation in our body. So we'll do body, hip, knee, foot. Body, hip, knee, foot. We'll not take away the free movement, let's say, in our hips, but what we'll really add will add the translation and the absorbing in our body. And if you see, this gives a free movement, and let's say a much more natural movement in our body. But let's see the difference. I can do only with the hips, the swing using the hips. That it's a choice, of course, and we can do also this. Or I will use the swing using also our upper part of the body. Also here what you have to be careful as you do the only the hip or you at moments you increase the body naturally the body will tend to move with the shoulder again. So you have to try to maintain again the posture correctly so straight. Of course you have inclination a little bit but don't try to lose this in this way because it will not be correct. So you have to try to use the body and in the moment you go change the foot, you have the hips in opposite way where we are moving and here is the moment when you have to try to maintain the correct portion. Then you go in the other side, here one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two. Another important thing, if I can say, that I like to <laughs> talk. <laughs> 
is that the pressure in the foot you make really different, as we say to you in the samba and in, in the other dance. In the moment you go in here, it's not really I can say that it's you have to press, but if you start from your body and hips, you will feel immediately the increase of the uh, pressure to the floor. And I would love to say, don't try to collapse with the foot, but try to kissing the floor in that way. Even if you go faster, one and the two, and the one and the two, and the one and the two, one and the two, it's still not, let's say, a loose movement. For me, very important, um, and I will, um, let's say, I will push to this. Uh, I will, will really like to see that when you are going to work with the body, or let's say with the ribcage, that you have this absorbing, even if it's faster, what we'd like to see from you, that the absorbing of the ribcage has to be there, you see. So now we'll show you how this looks with the music very slow and then a bit faster instead of doing push and pull and push and pull and push and push. It feels quite heavier. That's exactly. It. So what we'll try to do is to maintain our right hand. So we'll try to do it faster. One, a one, a one, a one, a one, a one, without disturbing each other. Guys, it's really important as in the other dance, to understand this coordination with your own body, because for us it's really important that um, take away the concentration very much to your lead, because this is what it stops the couple a little bit to improve. On the moment that you are searching for each other, you're going away from each other, because this dance is really fast, as you can imagine, as the church, for example. And most of your uh, brain and your focus is on, I feel my part and I feel myself, you will lose the moment to show your natural movement, all your action, which is, let's say, the beautiful part in the end of the dance. To see what you can do with your body and your hips and your feet with that speed um, in the same amount of time that the other couple is doing the same things but doing less action. So we don't want to say that the more you do, the better you look. No. is how you move. You will look better than how much you do. Exactly. This is the secret. Exactly. Yeah. So move on because we, we would like to touch the chasse to the right and chasse to the left. And later on we would like to touch the rock. And we'll see how this look, looks together. Yeah, the basic, the swing basic looks together. So uh, basically, what we'll do? Of course, you know the chasse to right. Yes, we go up, a two, a three, a four. We'll try to do what? You can dance it. Yes, as you know, with the swing action. Yes, in our in our hips. But what we'll try to do now is to exaggerate with our body. So what will happen? We'll go to the side. We'll make a translation. We'll let the translation. Then when we'll transfer, we'll go with the body in up. So again, in, out, and in, out. We'll maintain the swing of our hips, but what we'll try to do is to move and exaggerate the body actions. If make I can make it more, uh, let's say, clear, is the first, first moment when you make a translation is the most important things because how much you're going there to make the translation, it will be nice after to have much more 
uh, amount after of the hips doing the swing. Yeah? If you do a little bit, then it's more difficult to do more with the hips and honestly will also look quite staccato. So nice will be to see big translation to right in these cases and then you will have nice swing action with your right hip. And same thing to the left. Boom, chi tia, i, tu, cha cha, i, tu, 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 i, boom, ta da, i, boom, ta da, i, boom, ta da. Then, once you learn, again, this coordination will be nice also to play, let's say, with the rhythm of that. For example, you can extend much more the first step and do it faster the second, and do it vice versa. So, faster, slow, faster, slow or slow, faster, slow, faster, yeah? This will um, show judges, public, and all that you have really awareness of what you are doing and uh, decide, this is the most uh, nice thing, to decide and say, here I want to show to you my, how much I can do with my body action, and here I want to show you how much I can do with my hip action. But one thing for sure you cannot do if you don't use the body. You cannot have a nice hip action without your body and vice versa. This is the thing. If you just try to do with your hips, it will look clear, it will look correct, but you will not have a ma the same um, dynamic as you can have if you do that movement. Using the body actions, exactly. I totally agree. <coughs> And I would like to <laughs> I would like to add one more thing and um, I think that is really important that's why I always push to show this how looks this in the couple because I think the, the problem normally starts when we give the, the hands and we are in connection it could be this connection it could be this connection doesn't matter which connection you choose to do then the principle uh, we believe is the same you need, you should synchronize your actions with your partner without disturbing each other and we, we, without having a really physical lead. Because there will be the lead. Of course, there will be connection in and connection out. But this will happen naturally. Why? Because we are using correct our body weight. We are using correct the body actions. So I really would like to show you how the, the chassis can look together synchronized together with your partner and even if you are well synchronized with your body I will ask Gabriele to change the rhythm and change the speed and if I am really synchronized with my own body I will try to follow after 10 years. <laughs> After 10 years, exactly. Of course, to do this exercise, you should have quite confidence with each other. We don't want to say something uh, that happened only in the dreams. <laughs> this will help for sure your couple to be more synchronized, so don't depend to each other, but to have the same confidence and to, <laughs> let's say, the big rebels, that the lady will follow the man, it's happening absolutely. But without using the physical lead, so to say, like stop or go, which for us it looks not so beautiful, it takes time. So it's something that it's happened by practicing, practicing, it's practicing, and of course you will understand each other better. Because the nice game about dancing is that, let's say, broken a little bit the rules, is not that always the lady is following the man. You will uh, year by year, practice by practice, you will see and understand that it's not always like that. But in many places, it's the men also that follow the lady. And I have to say that now that I am mature, <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's a nice feeling to do it and it's, it changes nicely your dancing because it's really visible. And um, it's also beautiful to have this change of rhythm by doing this and more difficult than doing by physical lead, exactly. which is natural reaction of the body. When he, if I push Anna, she immediately will try to, let's say, come against me, so to try to find the balance. So when you use the physical lead, you will always struggle. struggle each other and have like stiff reaction from the partner. Not because she want or I want, is the normal reaction from the body. When you push me to do something that 
I shouldn't do it or I should be in another place with the weight on the other stuff, then it's really much more difficult to be natural. And again, I want to say that, that uh, a nice dancer, a good dancer, male, female, is the one that it looks natural. It should look natural. Exactly. And in this case, what you will understand for sure, practicing, that um, there is a huge, I mean, is a discipline that um, if I need to synchronize my actions, I'm really trying to be parallel with my man or vice versa, the man and the lady, because normally what is happening, sometimes doing the actions, we are having distortion, or let's say we are not so much synchronized. But from my experience, what I can tell you, that I'm always trying to be parallel and to follow, or maybe the man is following the lady. But we need to try to be as much as we can parallel. This is something that I think is really important. And of course, it's quite easier if you do in front of each other, say, okay, I follow you, I follow you. Now try, always remember in dynamic and always remember with the fast music. Imagine that in your choreography, you have to change the direction. And that is what is really difficult to do it. But of course, with doing the same exercise, you will really find this quite nicely. And basically, this is what you have in the choreography, honestly. Like, if you study the swing giant, the basic, of course, you have some figure, you have more restriction. But honestly, if you have open choreography, you have such choreography that you change the direction very often. And that starts the problem. So sometimes you learn the swing giant, then you go home, you practice, you try to put in choreography, and you find out that uh, it's really different. And it is really different what the, what it was a bit American, but it's okay. It's change of direction which make much more difficult. And really, it's, as you see me and Anna, it changed completely the coordination. Sometimes also in the swing, you, you can find out that you have also, by using more shapes, a kind of weight or a kind of rotation of all body. And this is how you call it. It's not. It's a swing, yes, but it's different movement. So by saying that, I just want to say to be more open minded to try things and make it bigger. Because sometimes, not always, but sometimes it may look beautiful, look more uh, nice, more, uh, let's say, original for the couple. Exactly, and um, we really believe that without going for the first let's say level that will be learning first you need to learn what does mean the swing and how it works and which is this moment and how it starts and how it's finishing you can not add another action so of course we believe the number one is to build a good basic into your feet that's yes, really important into your hip and after only after in all five dances you can go and apply the body actions if you are ready and for being ready means that you have to have a good discipline in your body very good discipline but again the, the simple things and let's say the secret is to learn the book uh, learn the basic step learn the feet learn the, the legs learn the hips learn the body and uh, after that you know how it, it, it can be but after try to break the rules try to don't be has to be like this, so in the open choreography, we're doing like that. Try to make it exactly. more with nice, in the nice things. And these things is happen just if you, as Anna says, make exaggeration. This is how our says find after many, many years and hours of practicing, find a new movement just by doing exaggeration. Then sometimes it was uh, worse, sometimes it was really good, but I think in the end, and for sure, the good balance means that you can, um, you have many choices and you can do it them all in different moments, for sure. Not going just in one way, using only the body or using only the hips or using only that. So uh, I think we need all the dancers to find, to find this good balance. And I would like to continue with the rock and jive, mm, because also for us it was very interesting to discover that. How we can use the actions, the body actions in the rock, you know the rock, yes? The man is going with the left, the lady is going with the right. So normally we were doing only again, only the swing into the hips, yes? We were, we were using to do this. 
And now we'll, we'll try to show you how we can use the body. So normally when we do the work, what we'll try to do is to, to go already from a translation. So when I will go to make a step backward, I will go in and then I will go out with the body. And then when I transfer the weight, I go again in, out. So I'm doing in, out, in, out. Without changing, let's say, the basic things in our hips. So we'd like to show you how this looks um, with the slow music and maybe a bit faster. Yeah. Without losing the posture and using... And also be careful, uh, especially if you try more, to really be compact with your body, otherwise you will find some moment that you don't really want to do it, honestly, and it's also not correct. So we'd like to continue again, that I think that's very important, to show you how this will look in the yeah. couple. Important thing when we are dancing uh, in the couple, yes, we'll do it in, in this way, is to not change the body weight as Gabi said. So we will maintain the straight posture, and what we'll try to do is to do the actions. And one, a 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 one. A one. A one, a one. Normally, what is happening? Uh, when we do a rock, we used to do what? Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And what we'll do, we'll think about the actions and you'll see that this connecting, connection in out is happening naturally. Of course, you need to try to leave the hands where it should be in the center both of us and try to don't bring with you and this will by doing what Anna says with the body it will look absolutely correct and also connect and we'll try to do it with that slow music So as you can see, we show to you with the slow and fast music. I think we can uh, move on. Yes, I would like to move on because I would like to connect these two, uh, let's say, figures with together. The yes, so we'll do the rock and the chasse. And let's see how it look, can look better now. So we'll try to do it using the body actions. One, a one, a one, a one, a one, a one and a one, a one. Our, our, our. So as you can see, we create a nice dynamic in our body and shapes going very much. Then, of course, more you practice, more you can try to do even more with nice things and nice movement. But of course, first of all, you need exactly to learn all the things that should be correct. Yeah, otherwise it's very easy to go in some distortion. We don't want that, we just want to give you much more nice movement, more dynamic movement with your upper part of the body. The body. Exactly. So let's see how this can look with the slow music. Pick me a town in any class where people like a rocking town and stay away both day and night. Everybody's feeling good and right. So as you can uh, see, we also try to play with the rhythm, play with the horse body, with the dynamics we can uh, show it with you by using the body is a lot. And of course, um, we'll, we would like really to focus and on one important thing. Yes, we can use the actions of the body, but don't forget that you can do the same thing using only the, the hips. One, two, one, two, and it's absolutely correct. One, two. Only so the, the message is we don't want to say this is wrong, 
but you have also chance to use the body and look more dynamic. Yeah. Now, before we finish, I would love to uh, leave you with another figure which is really all the world is using. That popular, which is, very popular. Is the sugar push. Yeah. And we will uh, show to you immediately with the slow music how it will look like if you use more body and how it look like if you use just the hip. Okay? Enjoy. So, as you can see, I did many different types of sugar push. Exactly. Something was just with body, some was just with the hip, some was just with leg, some was a full circle with the other body. So you can really, after you understand the coordination, you can really enjoy yourself and try to do many different things. So, uh, what we can say, we didn't have so much time to let's say like this to say to to share with you all the information but we try to to give you one of the most important from our point of view and maybe to give something new and um, give a new motivation to all the dancers and we are really enjoying being with you and hope to see you all very soon on the dance floor yeah and continue to be strong and uh, for sure we hope that this will soon uh, finish uh, this moment and uh, soon as Anna says we will uh, see on dance floor which is the thing that we love more yeah so be healthy uh, practice practice and practice and uh, dance take care with you thank you very much bye